Go and check out FIFA Coins Online for great deals on Ultimate Team Coins. You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and I am back for the second part of my Team of the Year midfield review. Today we are going to be doing Xabi Alonso. Um, yesterday we did Iniesta, there'll be a link on screen if you missed that video so you can go back and have a look at it. And tomorrow we will be doing Xavi. Then on the Monday I'm going to release a squad builder showing you all the players I was using in this team and how they slotted in together and how they basically played and some of the goals that they scored. So, Xabi Alonso is who we're looking at. Xabi Alonso isn't actually my card, it was lent to me by Gillard, so thank you very much to Gillard, um, it's really great to have you know subscribers that are willing to lend off players and stuff, because these team of the years, I can't afford to buy them all myself, I mean the Iniesta and Xavi are both mine of my own coins, but there was no way that I was going to afford Xabi Alonso at the time that I was looking to buy him, I do have some more coins now. But um, obviously I've already got him, so I'm not going to uh, go out and buy another one. Anyway, let's have a look at his stats on his card. He has 62 pace, 79 shooting, 93 passing, 76 dribbling, 87 defending and 72 heading. So some very good all-round stats for a centre midfield. Bar maybe the pace, as the pace does look kind of shocking and bad. But we'll get into that later. Anyway, let's have a look at his actual, uh, some of his other stats. I mean, his weak foot was four. He has skill moves of two. He's six foot. He was born in 81, if you actually care about that. And for this card, it was bought for 460,000 coins. Now, I know at one point they were going for like the 400k mark. But uh, this one was obviously purchased a little bit after that. And uh, his price is currently rising from what I have gathered. He probably is up to around 480 or maybe more thousand coins whilst I'm recording this video however you know prices are going to fluctuate especially with more cards coming out of packs next or on this weekend I believe so let's have a look at Alonso's in-game stats we have 96 ball control crossing of 85 curve of 88 he has 91 free kick accuracy heading accuracy of 80 long pass of 99 long shots of 89 marking of 84 I mean these are some ridiculous stats I think that he hasn't got like the, the really high-end stats like the other two team of the years do they have a lot more dark green but this uh, you know Alonso seems a lot better well-rounded player so if we see he's got um, I think he's got 89 long shots I think I already said that short pass of 95 shot power of 94 uh, stand tackle of 90 so some really really good stats there to set up himself for a sort of like a centre defensive mid he has weak foot of four star skill moves unfortunately he only has two star skill moves uh, which is sort of like it does hold him back I won't lie he could be a lot better if he had like an extra skill move just even one just to give him like a roulette or something like that just to you know help him to get past people and maybe take a few of those long shots on if we look at his physical attributes we'll see that he sort of struggles in the sort of speed department which is a real shame I think that's probably the biggest factor for him is that he lacks in pace just he can't track back as well as he should be able to because he he's not fast enough basically he has reactions of 91 however stamina of 88 and uh, strength of 85 so those are very good stats though and uh, mental attributes are very good he has aggression of 89 interceptions of 94 attacking position of 83 and uh, vision of 91 so some great stats all around so what can I say about Alonso he is a bit of a frustrating player to be honest I'd say he is definitely the worst out of the three midfielders um, if you want someone who's got flamboyance do not get him he doesn't have any of it um, I think I managed to get four or five clips with him and it was a real struggle I mean I played with them for about 30 games or so so to only get three or four clips with Alonso is a bit shocking um, the things that really bother me about him are his pace I mean 62 pace is sort of bad especially for someone who's more of a defensive mid I don't mind so much the cams not having pace because you don't particularly need it you just need them to be able to pass get into space and basically make the good runs Alonso when you're a defensive mid I guess you do need pace because you're going to be tracking back a lot and that's where he sort of falls down because as I'm playing him as a centre mid and his you know natural idea is to come back and defend he ends up getting caught out because people who play the centre attacking mid formations 
have the centre attacking mid sitting between the mid or the the on my midfielders and my centre backs, which means that Alonso is having to chase back people who are already in front of him. Now he never catches them because he's only got 62 pace. There's no chance he'll be catching them. I mean, if he did catch them, the occasions when he did catch up with them, he would muscle them off quite easy. Don't get me wrong, he has great strength, so he will be able to you know win the ball in a like a, a shoulder to shoulder match up. However just you know chasing back is sort of a real problem and it did mean me, leave me quite exposed at the back at times anyway enough about that um moving on some of the good things about him are that obviously he does have very good defending he can you know his slide tackle is very good his standing tackle is very good he's very strong he's very aggressive he can get the ball off people if he's next to them he has decent passing not you know fantastic i won't lie you don't you're not going to get amazing passing out of him which is a real shame i was expecting to be able to zip balls across the pitch um as he does in real life but it just wasn't happening for me maybe the formation i was playing just wasn't quite right for it and again with iniesta i said that he okay he iniesta occasionally hit over hit balls and they go off the pitch same for alonso he'd do exactly the same over hit balls and they would go off the pitch which is a real shame as well however um a lot of people will be asking about his long shots because last year's team of the year Alonso was unreal for long shots he would score so many I had him personally and I scored so many amazing long shots with him and I was really looking forward to actually playing with this one because I saw his shot power was great great you know um, long shot trait and everything like that and I thought he was going to be just as good as last year picked him up I don't think I scored more than maybe one long shot with him he was to be honest he was quite bad at long shots so for me, I definitely wouldn't recommend Alonso. I mean, I don't like his regular card, so it was never, you know, a good thing for me to use this card, I guess. And I'm probably sort of like a slightly biased, but you guys obviously can go out and make your mind up. I'm just giving you my personal opinions, and if you don't like them, then that's fine. Uh, feel free to leave your comments down in the comments section if you think that maybe he is better than I'm saying he is. Um, for his price, I wouldn't say he's worth it either. I mean, he's obviously the cheapest of the three for a reason and that is purely because he is not that good and uh, other than that there's not much I can say about him I mean feel free to go out and try him I'm not saying don't buy him I'm not saying anything like that I'm just saying personally I didn't he's not my style of player for some people he might work maybe if you play him as a centre defensive mid he'll do a lot better um, but just the way I play wasn't right so um, I think I'll wind up the review there. Sorry it was a bit negative, but just that's, I just wanted to give you a true reflection on how I felt the player played and basically whether I think you should go out and buy him for yourself or whether you should save your coins and maybe spend them somewhere else. So, guys, please do drop this video a like. I'd be really appreciated. Obviously, the Iniesta review was up yesterday. Go check that out. Uh, Xavi's up tomorrow. The squad builder's on Monday. But other than that, I will leave it there, and I will see you all uh, next time.